Hey, welcome to this edition of Road Warrior. I'm your host, Grant Robertson, and today we have a treat, and I want to be specific on this. We have an awesome treat. It's actually the 2013 Chrysler 300, but there's a little bit of note on that. It's the SRT8. Now, if you've seen my reviews in the past, we just had the Jeep SRT8. Now, what I found on that, and it's my first experience with this kind of sport lineup, was that it had a lot of get up and go. Now, that was funny because I had no experience with SRT before the Jeep. Now, of course, when I get the SRT 300, I know what awaits, and that is specifically power. Now, what's great about these cars is they are kind of breaking this we have no money economy. It kind of is a niche vehicle that's for the people that want to get up and go. This is not for the grocery go getters. This is not for the people that want to save fuel. Now, of course, when you look at a 300 or you look at anything with SRT badge, you want to know what's under the hood. And now what's great about this is across the board, it's a 6.4 liter V8 Hemi engine. Now what that does is deliver a whole bunch of power right at the step of the foot on the gas. Now on this one, it's going to be 470 horses and 470 foot pounds of torque. Now I'm typically someone who likes to keep the speed limit in check and make sure I kind of don't break the legal limits. But on this one, it was, let's say, calling for me to hit the gas. Now with all that horsepower becking at your call, you're ready to stomp the gas. And now what you're gonna find in the city, this is a typical car with a lot of horsepower that just begs to kind of get to the next stoplight first. You're kind of like the line leader in traffic. You know, you're like that kindergartner who's always at the front of the line. Now what you find is that you're always at stoplight, you're revving the engine, you got it in neutral, and you're telling everybody what this thing has. Because from the outside, it's kind of, let's say, it has some prowess, but you kind of don't really know what it's gonna offer. Now, this also has a performance kind of information on the dash in that big eight inch screen that it has. And we'll get into a little bit of that specifics later. But what's great about that is it literally can tell you the numbers off the line. All right, now with any performance vehicle, you really wanna know what it does. And on this vehicle, of course, like I said, it tells you. Now, what I did is I took it kind of on a private road, kind of in a nice, safe environment, and just kind of wanted to see what it did off the line. Now, you can do this in traffic, and you can do this down the city, but you're really going to have a hard time getting zero to 60 when you have to get to the next stoplight and you run out of room. So what I did is I kind of took it out to about a quarter mile, half mile uh, open area, and you know, more or less stomped it. Now, what I found was from zero to 60, I was able to finally get it to about 4.9 seconds. Now, overall, in the quarter mile, I got it let's just say high enough to re realize this bad boy can go. So overall, this vehicle does exactly what it tells you. Now the difference in this vehicle and the Jeep SRT that I drove was the SRT was an all-wheel drive model. So anytime you stomped it, it got right off the line without any tire spin. On this model, you will notice some traction getting lost when you hit the gas. Now what's great about that is you do, of course, get that nice um, smoke pouring off the tires off the back as this is a rear-wheel drive. So you do get off the line, you're gonna know some tire spin, but it's still, even with all that, I was able to get to 4.9 seconds. Now, one feature I didn't realize that this has is a launch control, which basically, you do a couple of little um, uh, clicks of a button and features, and you're able to control the launch, which is gonna minimize the tire spin and actually give you the best performance. Now, I kind of realized that too late, but overall, 4.9 seconds, zero to 60, that's not too bad. Now once you pop the hood, this is where the beast is, and that's all the oomph and the horsepower you're looking for. Now what's great about this engine is it really has that gurgle. Now what you're going to hear most of that is at the back of the vehicle. You kind of get kind of a nice hum up front, and you don't have a lot of this noise invading the cabin. Now talking about transmission, the SRT comes with a 5-speed automatic, and of course just like the Jeep we tested, it has the paddle shifters and the optional stick mode. And I didn't use that, I, I, again you've heard me before, I kind of avoid that because this vehicle by itself has plenty of get up and go. Now if you are into that sport and you can actually dynamically drive with that shifter, then all to it. I mean it's there and it's what you can use. But I stick with the just a straight gas pedal, put it in drive and let's roll. Now looking at the outside of the SRT 300, what you're going to notice is it's not your average Chrysler. And what you'll find first, of course, is it's lower, it's sitting lower. It's actually a lot more footed to the ground, and we're sitting on 20 inch huge rims. Now what's great about these rims are they're not your typical chrome. They don't bling out at you, they don't scream, and they don't have that kind of mirror quality that which I kind of detest sometimes when they're so big. What this has is kind of more of a downplayed, almost kind of a softer silver or something, but it's, it's nice. I, I like the appeal of that. 
Now overall, that's about the only chrome and sparkle you're going to see. Overall, this is badged in white all the way around. You've got a nice uh, appointment up front with the grill. But overall, this has a nice low fascia and exactly what you're looking for for a performance setup vehicle. All right, now up front, what everybody's going to see is you're hammering it through the stoplight. And of course, they'll see the back end as you pass by. But what's great about up here is you've got a nice black insert grill. You've got the uh, headlights surrounded by black, uh, fog lights tucked down low. Now down here, you've got a continued black insert, some nice lower fascia. If you see this little thing right here, of course, that's our sensors. And what that's going to do is going to do a couple things. The biggest is the cruise control sensor. And what I like about that, and it was on the Jeep as well, is it senses as you're in cruise and lets you kind of set the tone. Let's say you want to go 70 miles an hour. If someone was to merge into your lane, it'll actually break for yourself. And I found this uh, system to be excellent. I never really actually had to touch the gas. Anytime people were kind of darting in front of me, the vehicle automatically put that spacing between me and the other vehicle, and it was a nice safety feature. Now by the numbers, the 300 overall is 200 inches and has a 120 inch wheelbase. Now what you'll find is the wheels of course are pushed as far as they can to the corner and those numbers are exactly what the charger is. Now what's great about this vehicle is it is identical to the charger but you have a slightly different look overall. This is not that kind of muscle car era from the exterior. It's kind of more regal and actually could kind of slip in at your fancy balls or prom or wherever you might want to go. Now, with the 300 and any of the SRT lineup, you're going to get in the inside and it's going to match the outside. And what I'm referring to is the performance. When you get in here, it's regal, it's leather, it's uh, chrome appointments, it's accents, it's everything you're thinking of. And best about it, of course, is you got the matching huge uh, tachometer and speedometer and the digital display, all to give you that performance kind of feel. Now, of course, we talked about it earlier, you have the huge 8-inch plus uh, screen in the middle that gives you all the touch screen abilities for the performance for the XM radio for climate. This vehicle of course also has um, heated steering wheel, heated front seats. Um, it has all the regal touches not just the performance aspect. Now other nice features you'll find is that the climate controls are simple. They've got just simple knobs, dual zones, and basically what all this does is kind of simplify the dash. You don't want to get in this vehicle and it looked like a 747. You don't need cluster, you don't need mess. And that's the one thing I found on the Jeep, was the instrument cluster did have a lot of uh, buttons and things. But they are changing that, of course, for 2014 on the Jeep. They've already done it here on the Chrysler uh, 300. So what's great is it's simple, and you're going to have nice, easy kind of transition from anything you're looking for. Now up here in the middle, you're going to find two cup holders. What you're also going to find is the heated and cooled options. You literally have coffee, want to keep it warm, press the button, and there it goes. You've got plenty of storage right here. You've actually got auxiliary jacks, USB ports. You've got a, a SD card up here. I mean, it has all the technology you can think of. Now, as for seating comfort, you've got kind of a, a suede leather combination, sporting seats in the front and back. Overall leg room is going to be perfect. You only lose about a half inch, maybe an inch between the front and back seats. So overall your passengers are going to feel the comfort anywhere they sit. Now in the back seat what you're going to find is kind of coupe seating. You've got two perfect niches for people of normal size and all that. Now in the middle of course that's standard sedan option here where your smaller skinnier people are going to fit right in the middle a little bit fine. Um, in the middle of course you have the flip down cup holders. You got a little bit of storage right there and everything. Now one thing I did do in this is I made it kind of a hauler. I actually had to pick up a kind of a molding piece for the house and actually use the back flip down seats. And that's simple. It's one unit. You pull it down and it actually gives you a cavern back into the trunk. And that was great when I had longer pieces to move in here. Of course, are you typically going to make this a hauler? Highly unlikely. Now this does it for this edition of Road Warrior. Now I've kind of just given you just enough information to wet your pout on this vehicle. The information with it is just endless and we could spend all day kind of telling you everything. Big thing you need to know about this Chrysler 300 SRT8 is it's not your daddy's vehicle. More specifically, it's going to get you up and going at the stomp of a gas. It's got all the performance you'd ever think of wrapped in a nice monochromatic white exterior. So again, I'd like to thank you for watching. For more information, of course, Google this bad boy and find out more. And as always, keep both hands on the wheel and eyes straight ahead.